For Zachary Randall, exploring the sea floor it is a mystery what's down there is a dream come true i've been scuba diving since i was 15 this is his video of kelp forests off the california coast a collaboration of research by oregon state university and usgs these kelp forest ecosystems are fragile and imperiled right now Randell's team observed changes over time to different parts of the sea floor, adding to 40 years of documentation. The data show some kelp forests are dying, impacted by climate change and warming oceans. Kelp likes cold water. Other species are also changing. Urchins eat kelp, and with fewer predators like sea stars, urchins can overgraze. Every square inch of the sea floor is just a battleground for survival. Randell's research, recently published in a national journal, showed kelp struggle in flatter areas of the ocean. This valuable information helps other researchers working to plant and restore kelp forests. To give them the best chance possible. So why is that important? There's a lot of species diversity that's directly supported by kelp. That means if kelp habitat disappears, fish and all other species up the food chain suffer. And research shows more frequent weather and ocean events are impacting kelp's survival. Climate change issue is so complex. Kelp aren't just foundational in the ocean. They're essential for compounds used in cosmetics like toothpaste and shampoo, and even in sweets like cake and ice cream. And for Zachary Randell, exploring the unknown. This work is about discovery and saving species important to us all. Captivating for me. Now that Randell has graduated from OSU with his PhD, he is now headed to a new job at the Seattle Aquarium. And he's going to be doing similar kinds of survey research on the floor of Puget Sound using robotic submarines to measure how species are doing and the impact on us. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.